say it with me now for all the people in the back. The New Jersey Devils are absolute winners. Lego, what are you talking about? They lost yesterday. They're eliminated. They only won one game against the Carolina Hurricanes. It was a 4-1 series. Like, what are you talking about? This was a winning team. And, okay, sure, from an on-ice perspective of results, the New Jersey Devils literally lost. But when it comes to how these guys performed this season and what we learned... There was so much good out of the 22-23 Devils that I just had to go out there and make this video. Now, of course, we'd be kind of remiss if we didn't actually talk about the game. Yesterday, the Devils lost in overtime. It was a close game. Like, kind of funny that it was a close game because all the other games in the series had not been close at all. They were all blowouts. So kind of interesting to see the dynamic shift, especially at the very end of the series. But this was a game where the New Jersey Devils had their opportunities and you had Acura Schmid making the saves he needed to make. It's just the Devils had some trouble burying it. They couldn't get by the Hurricanes defense and the goaltender. So ultimately, at the end of the day, it's a long shot from Kotkaniemi tipped in front by Jesper Faust that goes right by. That that's the 3-2 overtime winner, and that's the series. 4-1 is the final score out of Carolina versus New Jersey. But ultimately, even though this was a losing effort, even though the Devils sort of lost in a way that you could say, all right, they had three games where they played so poorly, and you don't want to see the games go the way that they did in those three games, you could definitely, 100%, no holds barred, go out there and say... From a perspective of team accomplishments and what you saw out of the players on the squad, this year was more than a win. If you had told Devils fans last season, at the end of last year where the Devils finished, where did they finish? Let's search this up. NHL standings last year. Can we do that? Is that a thing? Here we go. 2021-2022. So, last year, the New Jersey Devils had 63 points in 82 games played. If you go into the NHL, they were 5th last, and that's not a good record at all. If you told Devils fans last year, hey, calm down guys, you don't need to worry, you're going to sign some guys in the offseason, you're going to make some acquisitions, Andre Palat's going over to your team, Dougie Hamilton is going to improve like crazy, you've got Eric Halla coming over here too, not to mention the upward growth of a lot of your younger guys, and you're going to, for the most part, fix your goaltending situation. If you told Devils fans all of this a year ago, they would have been like, okay, great, but where does that land us in the season? And if you said it lands you as one of the top teams in the Metropolitan Division and it allows you to make the second round where you inevitably lose the Hurricanes, but you still make it there in the first place, I'm pretty sure Devils fans from last year would have been over the moon saying, hey, wait a minute, we are fifth last in the NHL this season. We go from that to a second round exit? That's crazy, dude. Tell me more. And the tell me more is even crazier because you go out there and you say, hey, Luke Hughes, he comes over onto the team and he looks really strong. You also have yourselves Jack Hughes, who improves his season like crazy. Not to mention the fact that all the other younger guys on your team, Dawson Mercer, looks incredible. You've still got Jesper Brat doing his thing, although you could debate whether or not that's going to be the biggest priority heading into the offseason. And you trade for Timo freaking Meyer. That's the big fish guy that decides to go over to your team, or he doesn't decide it, the Sharks do, instead of Carolina. Sure, the Hurricanes had a really big pitch for Meyer as well, and the Hurricanes ultimately lost out, but you got Meyer, you saw what he was capable of doing, you saw the chemistry there, it was good. Now, unfortunately, you're going to have to go through an entire re-signing process. For me, at the time of recording this audio, there is no extension or whatever in place. He is still an RFA, but the Devils do have those negotiation rights, so there's a positive in that. And we did say that you're going to have to re-sign also Jesper Brat, who is an RFA as well. So, yeah, a lot of conversations to go about there as to who you decide to re-sign or who you don't. But at the end of the day, it's a good problem to have because you've got good players. You have guys that are more than capable of contributing and 
playing alongside of the vision that Lindy Ruff and all the other Devil's staff have for this team. And before we continue, I guess we could say this as well. If you want to make, or if you want me to make, excuse me, another video just kind of going over Brat and Timo Meyer, that is a conversation I feel like is more than appropriate to have, especially considering the context, the circumstances of how the Devils have performed and what these two were able to showcase in their stints towards the end of the year. Obviously, Meyer does not have the longevity within the Devils organization that Brat has, but that's another conversation topic for another day. Not to mention just how good Luke Hughes was able to perform, especially towards the end of this postseason run. Sure, the guy had a rough game or two in this series, but especially towards the end there, you saw the minutes, you saw the deployment, he was played like a number one defenseman, he was stopping goals, he was contributing just incredibly well. Luke Hughes is going to be a beast, and you saw all of this and more out of the Devils towards the end of 22-23. For a team that was not really supposed to be this good right away, I think that's pretty alright. And so, at the end of the day, even though the Devils pretty much lost because of a delay of game penalty, they still had a series where you could say the Carolina Hurricanes were the better team. Like, I think that's more than fair to say the Devils did not deserve to win the series. But considering where they are, considering where the Hurricanes are in their progression, that's more than okay. That's fine. Like, the Hurricanes were supposed to be a beastly team this entire time, and guess what? They were a beastly team, so who's gonna go out there and blame them? Who's gonna blame the Devils for losing to a team like Carolina when Carolina has just been so good the past few years? For New Jersey, going from fifth last to right here in this spot, squeezing out a blowout victory against Carolina, at least one blowout victory, and beating out a Rangers squad that boasts the likes of Igor Shashirkin, Tarasenko, Zabanejad, Panarin, Ryder and Patrick Kane. Having that Game 7 and stomping on the Rangers in that Game 7 was more than okay. Like, just getting to Game 7 in the first place, comparative to last year, good enough. Beating them and destroying them in Game 7, even better. Making the second round, even better. Doing what you did and showing the heart and passion towards the end of this series, also good too. And that's why I wanted to make this video. This team is still a winner. Comparative to what we had seen last year, all the growth, all the progression, the uprising of Jack Hughes, Dawson Mercer was on a heater this entire season, Dougie Hamilton so much better than last year too, Nico Hishier, the leadership and the points he was able to produce as well, it's all good. I mean, Jack Hughes had 99 points in 78 games, if he plays those final four games of the season, he doesn't miss out on them, he gets 100, no questions asked. This was a season for the ages, and honestly, in my opinion, this might be one of the best, if not the best, comeback story I've seen out of any of these teams. Like, just from one season to another, the huge, significant improvements. Sure, we've seen teams blow up in the face of their fan base and do the opposite. They're really good one year, and then they're down in the dumps the next year, but it's rare to see teams go the other way around. Complete turnaround, second round exit, but that's okay because y'all were fifth last last year. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the New Jersey Devils and their season as a whole. Thoughts as well about the loss to Carolina. If you have any extra things that we could talk about, then hey, leave them in the comment section. I kind of want to focus on that Jesper Brat versus Timo Meyer thing, because I definitely do think there's a big can of worms to open there. But if you have any opinions about the Devils that you feel like need to be heard, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.